Hey dudes, it's April 17th, Saturday, and I'm having a great day. I just cleaned my house and relaxing and reflecting on what it took me to get here as I do every day because I think about the hard shit. And I hope many or all of you are able to make income and ends meet in these hard times. Personally, I've taken advantage of the fact that everyone's at home and no one can dine in really to uh, deliver meals to people and I feel it works much better with my performance-based work style. For so long, someone being an autist like me would get so involved in my work that I wouldn't know when to stop and it would leave me consequently exhausted days on end of working 10-12 hour shifts and pretty much zapping myself out like midway through the shift because I'd be I'd be go I'd be so gung-ho in the first four hours and then I'd lose my momentum by the end of the day and that coupled for years is really exhausting so I hope that all of you are able to make your ends meet whether you're homeless or not but these are challenging times for everyone and i want to go back on a video that i did previously called flight from death and it's pretty cringy so i don't want to like mention it or bring it back up again but essentially sheldon solomon and becker and these other philosophers are continuously going over the the fact of or the notion that our denial of death in our um, I guess idealized American culture or the West in general is that we are infinite and everything is under our disposal however that's completely not true and I was just telling actually side note I was just telling my boomer doomer friend's daughter that when things start collapsing in the next 15 15 years the first like thing i'm going to ask people is what did you drive and what was your lifestyle like because you are being judged now and like i don't want it's going to be like the walking dead like the initiation question to get into the tribe is like what kind of person were you beforehand because um, I'm not going to stand for that shit because we knew, we freaking knew way on earlier and whether people chose to live in denial, which is what they just do um, when they hear frightening news, that we knew where we were headed unless we changed course. And I, I mean, as you can see, all the biggest corporations pledged money last week. Um, and of course, they're not going to do anything for making progress. We should have started in like 2002. We're like way overdue. It's, it's a slow moving tsunami and most people see the, the climate crisis as just like a wildfire here and a hurricane there and Texas completely frozen under. But these are these are the early telltale signs of it's actually matching with all the worst case predictions. I'm going off on tangent. The point is flight from death is to live your life like as if imagine a 400,000 gallon tanker full of gasoline, just a freight train just derailed and ignited like two blocks from your house and set everyone's house on fire. Or a hurricane came through next week. Like you don't know, a bus could roll over. You Scuba divers like get, you know, nitrous, nitrous like poisoning, nitrogen poisoning. Like anything can happen to you at any point. Your life is finite. And with so many suicides the past few years and deaths personally, like I've known, it really fragments reality. Like what, is this a dream? What if, as if? And so you can take this to heart and use it as a thought experiment and think, okay, let me play around the fact that what if I died next week? Of course, you don't want to think like that because it's scary. It's not your natural inclination. Your natural inclination is to accumulate as much prosperity as possible. 
However, I'm suggesting power in the dark arts and saying, what if you contemplated your own mortality and used that as fuel for the fire, essentially? And if you keep living like that, you know, you go off on this heroic journey in other people's eyes and in your own eyes because you're living for today. And what we know now about climate science is that that time is coming, you know, when food shortages and mass calamities is now an emergency, like your house is on fire. And so I recommend probably living like that more now than ever um, to think about, okay, what, what do I want and how are the means to, to make that happen because I'm, you know, get smoked next week. Personally, I'm just thinking about how to build a watering kit, like an Arduino connected to like a water pump and would water plants like in the garden automatically. I mean, little things like this can be, it could be done. Anything could be done. We have the potentiality to do whatever we want. And so unless you have children or you're bogged down with impossible school debt, even if you are, just go do the wildest, craziest shit you can imagine. Seriously. What else better do you have to do? Okay. Well, I enjoyed our little talk today. One can hope. Okay, guys. Talk to you later.